Investment attraction has a lot of advantages and brings a lot of things to a community. The initial investment, uh, you're creating jobs, you're creating extra tax revenue base for the city uh, to add to the services. So really investment attraction is all about attracting companies that have a good fit in the community, but then bring those positives along with it. And over time we help those companies grow, so creating even more jobs. My name is Don McNabb. I'm co-owner of JD Arrow, along with my business partner Julian Chin, uh, hence the name JD Arrow. JD Arrow is a maintenance, repair, and overhaul facility, the acronym MRO. Uh, we do heavy maintenance on regional aircraft, primarily the Dash 8 Q400 and the CRJ series of aircraft. Uh, heavy maintenance is um, similar to the idea of maintenance on your car. There's small checks, but then every, every certain period, the manufacturer mandates a larger check and these larger checks require a lot of the aircraft to be taken apart for access. So it's not something an airline can simply do over weekends and stuff like that. They have to put the airplane down. And because those inspections only happen at certain intervals, generally airlines don't staff their own people to do it. It's, it's easier to go to a third party MRO. Companies like JD Aero were attracted to Sault Ste. Marie because of our strategic location and the infrastructure that was available and they've managed to grow their business significantly in partnership with our airports and our EDC. Um, they've been able to leverage funding uh, through government programs that we could help them with. The uh, Economic Development Corporation has been a big help uh, with our expansions that we've done here in Sault Ste. Marie. Initially in 2007 when we started we did a big renovation. In 2011 we put the second hangar up and in 2016 we did a third expansion to the two hangars. We're in the, in the process now of considering uh, expanding with another hangar as well as another maintenance line and we'll probably be looking for another 50 to 100 people in the next year, year and a half. So we've attracted companies as large as hundreds of employees all the way down to smaller companies and startups with a handful of employees. One example I could give is UFE Tagona Press, uh, a local publishing and multimedia company that set up shop here in Sault Ste. Marie and uh, their focus is on publishing uh, biographical novels and uh, also they're getting into video creation. We have um, 15 books that we will be publishing between now and early two, uh, 2021. And those are traditional um, sort of hard physical um, publications. We established UFE Tagona Press here in the Sioux in April of uh, 2019 to take advantage of what we saw as some fantastic uh, creative works, incubation and publishing opportunities. You know, everybody's been very receptive, very supportive of us. Uh, it's a great community to work with everybody. Everybody's very helpful. And, and in general, the Sioux has a very open mind with regards to attracting other businesses. Through the EDC, we've had an opportunity to make really good connections with the Northern Ontario Heritage Fund, Fedmore, and other, other um, funders, which aren't essential to us right now, but we're taking ahead a couple of projects um, on, the, on the multimedia side. Where those, where those type of relationships are really going to help us. So uh, both in terms of present setup and making connections in the city and future development for UFE to go into press, uh, EDC has been tremendous for us. The process of finding investment really involves a number of, of things. Uh, everything from digital marketing and promotion of the community and what our competitive advantages are to actually targeting companies and executives who are in the industries that we're looking to attract. Uh, so we do a number of things, even trade shows and trade missions uh, on top of our marketing. So it's really about finding who, who we're looking for, who we're targeting, and uh, catering the message to those people. If you're looking to find out more about Invest Sault Ste. Marie and what we do here at the EDC, visit our website at www.investsuestmarie.com.